Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is just gonna be a video for those of you that are interested in kind of like my acne journey and how I like did certain testing and how I found out that there was issues with my gut and like hormone testing and stuff like that. Um, as lots of you have questions regarding that and it's really difficult to put it into short form content. So I thought I would do just kind of a sit down video explaining what I did, why I did it and the process of it because I find it helpful to listen to people that aren't like paid by the client you know like I'm just sharing my experience and what I did with you guys so if you guys want to do it you can go ahead and do it um so yeah let's get into it so I have clarified with my nutritionist that it's okay for me to name her in this video just in case she was bombarded with everyone's messages um but I worked with a nutritionist who is from Brighton she's called Steph Jane Nutrition yeah, Steph J Nutrition, um, she's on Instagram, that is how I personally found her, um, in case you are wanting to book in with Steph, find out more about Steph, follow Steph, I don't know. I decided I wanted to see a nutritionist when my acne was just getting really bad, I was also travelling, so, you know, doctors, GPs, antibiotics, Accutane, none of that was even an option for me, like, I had four months of travelling to do, and I kind of thought this is my opportunity to learn more about like holistic health and actually figure out what's been going on with my body because I was 18 I was like I have been suffering with acne for eight years none of these medications have worked clearly there is actually something wrong there's something actually going on so yeah I just kind of made that decision for myself I wanted to go the holistic way which of course can be more expensive like in the UK on the NHS you can get Accutane on the NHS and you obviously just pay your monthly subscription. It's probably like £9 a month or something. But if you're seeing a nutritionist and doing testing, it is more expensive. But in my opinion, it's a long-term investment because I'm not going to have to go on medications after medications for years and years and years throughout my life. You know? I booked a discovery call with Steph to kind of chat with her about what I'm doing, what I'm going through, what my symptoms are, my family history. It was very in depth. And then Steph came back to me with this huge document, which included like meals to eat, things to do, things to not do, things to help my liver, things to help my gut. And that really expanded my knowledge that I'd already built whilst I was traveling. Even things like don't drink water with meals, like because it's so bad for your digestion, your gut health, which I had no idea about. Everyone goes to dinner and they go what do you want to drink or what do you want to order like it's just such a normal thing but if you're someone that's trying to like put your body in a healing state those things can like be really like detrimental so yeah that was very helpful so my 12 week course with Steph because I wanted to work with her for 12 weeks and she did like packages of 12 weeks I think it was around 300 pound yeah it was around 300 pound for 12 weeks and I also decided I wanted to do a comprehensive stool test, which basically is where you do food samples for, I think it was three or four days, and then you send them off and they get looked at in detail. Like when I tell you my results were in so much detail, actually, I'll just see if I can find the results right now and I can show you them because they were crazy, but also, with Steph being my nutritionist and I paid for like that period of time with her she made a document that like broke down and explained all the results because no one's going to understand all these random numbers because we don't know what those numbers are supposed to be you know okay I've got up everything so I decided I wanted to work with Steph and I was working with her for three months with her three month acne repair program so prior to us working together I filled out a questionnaire and a food diary basically talking about like things I'm sensitive to, how my sleep is, how my anxiety is, like loads of different things to unpack. And then I sent her some photos of my skin. And then I got sent a nutrition plan by Steph, uh, which included like different meals to eat. Yeah, it was mostly different meals to eat. How to support my liver. So this is talking about like protein, certain teas that I talk about on my socials. Um, and then I also did, so then I did my GI test, which was £375. And Steph explaining what my results meant. So if I just briefly tell you some of the things that was wrong. I had like severe dysbiosis in my gut, which is basically, basically just like a huge imbalance in your gut. Um, I had like 
too much yeast and stuff. Um, and my inflammation score was high and it was also showing that I had an infection, which then led me on to get tested for Crohn's and different things because we were confused because in my stool, the reason why it was saying there was an infection was because I had white blood cells in my stool. And I still don't know the cause for this. I think it might be because I have PCOS, but I need to still get firmly diagnosed for that. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, and I know in myself, you know when you just like know that something's wrong, you've got all of the symptoms, you've had all these tests done and they're leaning towards it. I just need to get properly diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure that I have signs of infection and things because of PCOS, because obviously when you've got cysts and inflammation and things, that can cause white blood cells to be in your stools because white blood cells are produced when there's an infection. So from this, I was basically told to continue to do things that I was kind of already doing. So like having bone broth, um, increase uptake of antioxidant rich foods, which I was already doing to be honest, add curcumin to your supplement regime, um, which I was already doing because curcumin's in turmeric. The only things that I wasn't doing was taking these two supplements. Um, so basically I was having Berberin 250 and Nutrispore capillaric acid tablets. And the reason I was having those was for my gut health because those specific supplements were targeting the certain overgrowths in my gut that I had, which is why it is really important to have testing done because if you guys had a different overgrowth of bacteria and took those supplements, it could easily make things worse, you know? Like you need to make sure that you're taking the correct supplements for the correct issues that you have. I'm just sharing my experience here. So yeah, I started doing that. I mean, to be honest, I genuinely feel like stress and what I'm eating affects my skin so much, like so much. Stress and sleep especially. So even though like it was like the course with Steph was amazing, like I did learn so many things, it didn't actually change my skin too much. And when I completed the course with her, I then basically integrated some other stuff that I'd learned and that helped to improve my skin more. I mean, easily my skin could have got worse and maybe the course with Steph just, you know, made it better. I would say though, like symptoms like bloating definitely reduced. Um, I still think there's some work to be done on my skin though. Obviously my skin's doing great. I mean, at the moment it's not because I'm in a purge from azelaic acid, but that, that is, that's something else. That's a different story. But yeah, so I did those testings and I do think like my symptoms, like, because at that time I was going to the doctors being tested for Crohn's and things because my stools were very concerning and they're not concerning anymore. Like it's like clockwork. This is so gross. We're literally talking about poop. Um, but I know that there's so many of you out there that are interested in this. I definitely wouldn't have gone and seen a nutritionist had I not watched videos of people that had gone and seen a nutritionist and like explained, you know, what benefits they got from it. Also, if you guys experience any hormonal acne or even like you think you have PCOS or you have like hertuism, like excess hair growth or anything, I would really recommend you getting your bloods tested but if you guys are in the position where you can afford to not do through the NHS I would kind of recommend that just because when you go and get your bloods done at the NHS they will take your bloods look at your home hormone levels and likely tell you that they're normal but as we know as girlies like we're on a 28 day cycle and our hormones are constantly changing so for example if you get acne in your luteal phase that's probably where your hormone imbalance is or the phase before. So if you're getting your bloods done once and they're telling you your levels are normal, what do you mean by normal? What do you mean by normal? Because my testosterone goes like this and this throughout my cycle, but it has to be at certain points, at certain points of my cycle and you haven't even asked me at what point of my cycle I am at. So what do you mean my levels are normal? Do you know what I mean? Which is why I really recommend getting your bloods done either privately or through a naturopath or through a nutritionist or through someone that understands that your cycle changes. And maybe in other clinics in the NHS, they do that, but I have never experienced that personally. And it would take quite a lot for your levels to be out of the normal range. Um, I mean, 
from my experience and my friends' experience and people in my family's experiences, getting your bloods done on the NHS is not the way to go. And I'm not here to, you know, shit on the NHS, like we're so lucky that we have healthcare here. But when it comes to women's menstrual health, it is not good enough. And we all know that. I'm sure all the girlies that live in the UK that are watching this know it's not good enough. And also there are testings you can do for your hormones with saliva. Basically with my nutritionist, there's a website called Genova Diagnostics. I think that's the website we used where you put in like your provider's name. So mine was obviously Steph Baker, which will be like in the description and stuff. Um, but she gave me like a specific code to put into there. But you have to have a practitioner to be able to do the tests, as far as I know, unless there's websites that are similar to like Skin and Me, where there's actually like professionals within the organisation that can do that for you. But yeah, so I would recommend looking into good testing um, because it is an investment, but it is so worth it rather than just messing up your body so much more, which is what I did with the pill and antibiotics and so many things. Like, I often think when I was 10, if I wouldn't have gone on the pill and I wouldn't have done this and I wouldn't have done that, what would my skin have been like when I was 14? You know, would it have been severe cystic acne or would it have been okay? Um, so yeah, I just want you all to think before you take these really harsh medications. And that's what my account is here for. And that's what like my clear skin guides are here for. Like I'm not here to gatekeep information and put really expensive prices on everything. Cause I know how tough it is to be dealing with acne like I know how horrible it is um that's why I want this information to be accessible for everyone so yeah I know this is a really really short video but I know how many of you will find the information helpful so I hope you have a lovely day um hopefully this video is going to be going up tonight so it's actually Black Friday um oh everything on free salt is discounted as well you guys know that I love free salt sisters I'm literally looking at my greens and my protein powder right now and this is really random for me to mention at the end of the video but those were so important with helping my gut health and my hormones like the protein powder for me is my hormone balancing godsend and the greens for me is just great for my gut health but also because it's got so much fiber it's really good for hormone balancing anyway i feel like i'm rambling now but i just wanted to chuck that in at the end i've always got a discount code down downstairs with them <laughs> in the description Oh my god, I feel like we could start a new trend calling like the description downstairs. Don't worry, I'll put it downstairs. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got far too much energy today. But happy Black Friday for all of the Americans watching on my tiny little YouTube channel. Um, happy Thanksgiving for yesterday. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Happy Friday. Um, and a lovely weekend. And I will see you soon. All my love.